Hello everyone, I am Chestrook44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Gene Forge. We just tried to do what we can to get through the bonus dungeon. Quite frankly, after finding that we're going to have to deal with endless respawning dudes, I say screw that frickin' dungeon. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with that place or the places that constantly damage me. Not the power core or the west workshop. I don't know what's in there. And at this point, I don't really care. We've got what we need. So you know what? Let's start making our way to the Gene Forge. Let's take a look at the West Gate. The more mechanical and diplomatic stuff and that sort of crap. Right. Moving on. Okay. Across this rocky valley to the northeast, looming above the natural stone outcroppings, you can see a huge building. It is a massive shaper-built structure. It looks like an entryway. You are close to the entrance of the main research hall on Susia Island. Surely the answers to all your questions are here. In addition, no doubt, there is incredible power. At first, the valley seems empty. Then, on the pathway ahead of you, you see a fast, blurry motion. It was only there for a moment. Odd. Oh, great. Something tells me Shulai scouts are here. Yep! I was right. Fortunately, they'll die easily. Besides, we leveled up a few times. We can take these out without problem. Watch. Stealth Shulai, that's what I meant. Yeah. There's a bridge, but... Let's see what is on the side of this river, or whatever, first. Looks like another... Oh, no, that's not a bridge. That's, uh... That's something else. Yep. Oh. Yep. Another shulai. Come on, come on. Don't run. Okay, fine, run. We'll kill you later. Kill that one first. This one will die next. Of course we're too high level to get experience from this. We're probably too high level to get experience from anything else except those things in the damn bonus dungeon. And I'm not gonna grind. I hate grinding. One thing I like about this place, you don't usually have to grind. Oh wow! Huh. After what we dealt with in that frickin' crypt? Yeah, you think you're so hot? You're nothing. Fine, run. It's all you're good for. It's all you're frickin' good for. Pick the lock, and what's in here? Trolls and such. Oh yeah, we have that sword that I forgot to sell. Fine. A living tool? Sure. We got a lot. Oh, look at that. Oh, whoa, whoa, why were you running all the way around? Wow. Okay, uh... You know what? Idea. You... I fire at the... friggin' specters. You trap that July in there. There. Spectres won't be a problem. The only specter that would be... Well, considering some of the jokes you made, you can probably guess. So, I'm not gonna bother saying... Ha ha ha. Obvious joke is obvious. Come on. Yeah, now he can't run in. No biggie. There. Bunch of crystals in here, and... Yeah. Nothing but rough crystals in there, nothing we need to take, or anything. Heck, there was actually nothing in there worth anything. That was a waste. Here's something. The show lie defending this area brought several prisoners to this makeshift interrogation chamber. The result is unpleasant. Yeah, I can see all the whips down there. 
I'll just try not to think about it too much. There's another bridge. Okay, so... North Bridge or South Bridge? Oh, or Middle Bridge. We got three choices. Well, you know what? Let's start with up in the north. Because why the hell not? Oh, look at that. Looks like we found the entrance to the place. Yeah, that's probably the entrance to the the Geneforge facility. The Sholai defending this area had had some success ambushing and dispatching intruders. Some of the bodies have been brought here. Robe, studded belt, heavy boots, chainmail vest, fine cloak, chainmail vest, and a robe. Yeah, we'll go down there in a moment. Looks like there's not much through the middle. Oh, look. Oh, of course. <sighs> Figures. There's absolutely no reason to go around like that. Okay. That's down here. Looks like there's a small structure down here. Not much guarding it. Okay, that's all there. Let's see what's in here, and then we'll go to the side entrance to the facility. Living tool? Sure, it'll replace the one we took. Okay, what's in these? Shaper tool supplies, shielding and curing spores. Oh, get out of the way. Yeah, we don't need to take any gemstones or crystals. We got plenty of coin. How many coin do we have? How much coin do we have anyway? Uh, eleven thousand. Eleven thousand coins. Oh, look at that. Oh, and they're guarding a canister. Guarding a canister. <laughs> Guardians guarding a guardian a canister. But um, Tish. Why are all these specters in here, though? Tish is lagging. Yeah, they're not doing much damage. Not a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't see that one. Yeah, 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 fine. We can survive. We can take your hits. Finish off that one. Good. Take on... No. We take out these two. Now oh, come on. And this one. Good. And one specter left. There we go. Create Drake. Yeah, it would be good if we had any plans to make a drake. <sighs> you know, compared to the last area, I'm glad we went here. This... This was easy! I'm happy to have easy. I'll take easy. Easy is good. Easy is my friend for once. In fact, anything after going through there will be would be easy. Okay. Guard posts. Oh, here's a book. This is an old Shaper logbook used to record people and materials which pass through the West Gate. It looks like the Sholai have been reading and rereading it, though you have no idea what they might have been looking for. One entry at the very end catches your eye. Commander Frell was relieved of his entry baton. He was, he was put out to not have been told where it was stored. He was informed that locations of all key access items were stalled in Kazg, and only Kazg. Really? So the people in Kazg actually had access to this place. A living tool to open it? Sure, fine. Let's use it to see what's in this one. Oh, look at that. Speed spores and major healing pods. And they're not mine. <laughs> I guess the Sholai would be upset. And here? Ah! A lone stone gate blocks your way into the research halls. There is no lever or other control. The door is recalcitrant in its refusal to allow entry. Nearby you can see a small control panel. It still looks functional. 
There is a small, living control panel here, a sturdy and elegant wood, fungus, and stone contraption of shape or make. Luckily, the Sholai have not destroyed it. You soon find that none of the switches on the panel are still functioning. They're just too old. There is a slot, however, that looks interesting. Usually, some sort of key is inserted in such a slot to activate the device. See if we can repair the switches. Despite your considerable skill with mechanical devices, you have no luck repairing the panel. Okay, let's try and insert a control rod. You insert the entry baton into the slot. It's a perfect fit. You hear a metallic grinding sound coming from inside the east wall. Nothing else happens, and none of the switches on the panel become active. Huh. Oh, it opens! Good. We can come out. That leads to the vats. Well, we made it through there, but I'm a completionist, so we'll see what's through the front gate. Because I like to fight everything. But that's the end of this short episode. Thank God it was an easy one. I needed that. But that's the end of this, so... Till next time, I am Justic44, that is Elliot, Natsu, and Ivy, and I will see you all next time.